what's up everybody so let's talk about monique and i know i'm like a day or two late with talking about this but i be extremely busy on the weekends doing hair and makeup so i'm just now talking about this right and monique did an interview with james r sanders from the roots and she basically called oprah out and blasted oprah y'all know this whole situation with taraji coming out and saying that she was underpaid and that she had to drive herself to the set of the color purple in atlanta they were complaining about not getting food at first they did not have their own dressing room at first and taraji said that she had to call out to oprah and tell her what was going on and oprah then fixed everything right and so monique in this interview basically blast oprah called oprah out and saying that oprah got caught because oprah has the ability as a producer to do everything in her power to get everything for the cast members like a driver to drive them to the set dressing room food etc because in my first video and i said it in a joking way but i really did not know what a producer <laughs> did you know what i'm saying so i did say you know what um oprah you know you can get them people some cars you're a billionaire and so now listening to this interview and listening to what a producer can do now i'm like dang <laughs> Oprah could have done all this in the beginning, right? Or let me rephrase that. She could have petitioned to get them all of this from the beginning. Yes, she did fix it once Taraji called. But my whole thing is, why wasn't all this set up from the beginning? Why wasn't there dressing rooms for these actors that will be on the set all day long? Why was there no dressing room for these actors that's going to be on the set all day long? That was crazy. That should have been set up from the beginning. They just didn't want to give these actors and actresses these things from the beginning, which is quite sad, to be honest with you. Why wouldn't you want the people that's going to make the movie a success to have these things already right y'all wanted to treat these black actors and actresses a certain way and it's not right at all and yes i appreciate monique speaking up and calling oprah out because y'all know monique has always been vocal about all of this pay inequality she spoke out about oprah tyler and Lee Daniel, and everybody dragged Monique. I have always been on Monique's side because Monique stood 10 toes down and how she felt about the pay inequality. And y'all, a lot of people were dragging Monique. You're not even that funny. It wasn't even about the fact that she was, in y'all opinion, that funny. It was about getting treated the same as all the white counterparts. And y'all made it about made it about her being funny. It was much more than that. And I appreciate Monique speaking out. But uh, on the flip side too as well, Taraji and all the other ones weren't speaking out when Monique was speaking out too. Now, Viola Davis, she has spoken out too as well. But Taraji, she wasn't there when Monique was speaking out about all of this, right? But anyway, let's listen to this interview with Monique. So when you hear Taraji say, first of all, and I, and I just want to give you step by step, okay? Mm -hmm. When you hear those sisters say, when we showed up, we had, we didn't even have any trailers. When we showed up, there was no food. When we showed up, we had to get ourselves to the set. When you hear all of these things, and who was at the helm of this production, James? <laughs> Oprah Winfrey. Okay, so when you hear all of these things, 
And then you start saying, see, this is the treatment of the black actress. It's nothing new. It's nothing new that the trailers are subpar. It's nothing new that either the food is subpar or there's no food at all. That's nothing new. So when Oprah Winfrey sits at the helm and to Raji P. Henson says, it's an honor that we were handpicked. We were handpicked for this movie. Well, if they were handpicked for that movie, those women should have been taken care of from the moment go. Right. It, there's no way they should have walked up and there were no trailers. There's no way there was no food. And then when you hear Oprah say, but when Taraji called me, what did I do, Taraji? Lady O fixed it. When Taraji called Oprah, what happened was James Oprah got caught. That's what happened. And if you look up the, the, the title of producer and what it is a producer's job is, you'll find that what Oprah fixed should have already been prepared when they got there under the title of producer. There need not be a fix. And you know why things like this can happen, though, James? <clears throat> and we all watched those videos with Oprah Winfrey and Taraji. We all hear different things that Oprah Winfrey may say when it came down to Harvey Weinstein and we don't want to put this all on Harvey Weinstein because we'll miss the what? Silver lining? Because we'll miss the, the, the point. We'll miss the point. We've watched this person as I'm watching these videos now and everything was, didn't I champion for y'all? As soon as you called me up, didn't I champion for y'all? For, for the production. It's like Oprah Winfrey, <laughs> stop it. Stop it. Because what you know what you did was you didn't champion for those black women, for our sisters. You didn't champion for them. What you did was you... In my humble opinion, it was, we can treat them just like we always treat the black actress. Who gonna check me, boo? Oh. I'm Oprah Winfrey. So then when Oprah Winfrey got the call, well, I fixed everything. But y'all know everything should have been done when you showed up. And that's the part that we're missing. Everything should have been done when our sisters walked on that set. It is no way. That that should have gone down like that. And now when you see our beautiful sister saying, yeah, but it got fixed. It's like, y'all, we're making it worse doing that. Mm. And either one or two things is true. Either Oprah is powerful or Oprah is not as powerful at three things. Oprah is powerful. Oprah is not as powerful as we believe. Or Oprah chooses not to use her powers as it relates to championing for folks that need championing, championing for. Okay, so y'all heard that snippet from that interview with James. And I really applaud Monique for speaking up. She has always spoken up about this. And she, I believe in my opinion that Monique, was genuine now her delivery may have come off as harsh but she spoke the truth right and this whole situation because like i said in my first video i said it in a joking way that oprah could have gotten them people cars and stuff like that because she was a billionaire and then you know i was looking and seeing other people's like comments that was like producers don't do all that and so in my second video i did was like well maybe a producer don't do that but now because i was ignorant on what producers can do but now i'm like well, Oprah could have a petition to get these things for the cast members from the beginning. Girl. Mm, 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 mm. Now, what I do know is I don't think Oprah is liking all of this stuff that's going on. Even though she sat up here and said that there's no beef between me and Taraji. Girl, you're not liking all this. I'm telling you that much because all this stuff got out and it is making Oprah look bad in a sense because she is one of the producers, even though she is not the only producers, there's other producers that, you know, they could have called them out to as well. But 
because Oprah is a woman, I guess, and she's a black woman and she's, you know, famous or whatever. They're calling Oprah out, right? So, girl, but uh, um, I think all the other producers should have petition for these cast members to get what they should have gotten from the beginning, point blank, period, right? I don't think Oprah is fully to blame for everything because you got to look at the production company too, Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers, why didn't you do all these stuff for these people regardless? Why did it take Taraji complaining and calling Oprah to get all of this stuff done? Like Monique said, y'all just wanted to treat these actresses and actresses, the black actors and actresses, any type of way any type of way and it's it's really crazy it's really just ridiculous how some of these black actors and actresses are treated but don't get it twisted because people in the real world like myself getting the same treatment too as well but we need our jobs we need money it's hard to just up and quit and try to find something else, especially in this economy. You just can't find something quick like that. It's just not possible. And so I see why some of these actors and actresses settle for just getting paid a little less because they need the money. It's hard out here, honey, for everybody. These people need money. So I understand why they do take what they can take. But just because they take what they take doesn't mean that they are satisfied with said pay because everybody needs money. Everybody got bills to pay. Everybody has to have a roof over their head. They need food. They need clothes, et cetera, et cetera. So I get, I get a lot of this, right? So anyway, what do y'all think about this whole situation with Monique blasting Oprah and saying that Oprah got caught y'all know what y'all gotta do comment down below let me know your thoughts if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe to my channel share this video like this video and y'all know what y'all gotta do stay tuned for the next video bye